My name is Geraldo Cadava, and my position is Assistant Professor of History uh, at Northwestern, and I teach, my area of focus is Latino history, uh, Mexican-American history, and the history of the U.S.-Mexico border. With Blackboard, I, I felt like there's still some kind of wall between teacher and students where I'm addressing them uh, and my word gets out to all of them individually, but then they don't respond to each other. This Baboogle uh, project, it's a way for them to talk to each other too, you know, and they can all log on to the same site. Any one of them has the same editing and upload capabilities that I do as a teacher. Well, we're using it in our class to make a collaborative encyclopedia website, which means that through Blackboard we connect to this other site, which then as students we're all responsible for managing and adding to. I wanted a project that would be kind of interactive between myself and students. So when I thought of the project, I called Brian Nielsen at Academic and Research Technologies and he told me that this would be the perfect technology to use. So each week, um, we have, um, the whole class is assigned three terms, so three terms per student, and the terms are about people, events, and concepts. Each week there are two editors. They're supposed to assign the terms to the students, and they, they decide which ones are most relevant for the readings and from the lecture, and then at the end of the week, these students turn them in on a Thursday night, and the editors are supposed to edit them by Sunday. So the encyclopedia is sort of supposed to be like a synthesis of course material and a way for us to like summarize and consolidate the material. I think Baboogle has been a great way to interface between um, Blackboard, the course management system, which is the traditional way we access all of the course content, and this particular course assignment of an encyclopedia because it's been a good link between Blackboard and all of the other Google applications. And I also think it's a really great tool because it sort of demystifies your other classmates' work because I feel like sometimes in the class it becomes too much like I write my paper, just the professor reads it, like that's the audience and now we're sort of all interacting with each other so I think it kind of is fostering like class community. I've worked with websites and this is pretty much nothing like I've worked with before. It's very easy and easy to access and easy to edit. It's You press a few buttons and type in. It's like incredibly yeah, simple for anybody to use. So I think it's great that we're all getting a chance to really teach each other. This is technology that I'm just getting used to myself, but um, have grown increasingly comfortable with and am excited to continue thinking about how to use it because the technology is perfect, really. But I feel like we're really just scratching the surface of what's, um, what's possible.